Hey everyone, this is DJ Dean Thap, 2.0 or Greek Time for my podcast. I have a special guest today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey guys, so I'm Pink Lady number 210, Cass Thea Gutierrez from the illustrious Alpha Iota line. And I'm a part of Delta Alpha Sigma at UTA. Hey, hey, welcome. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. You know, I got to sleep in today. I didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good day, right? right? On a Friday, right? Oh my yeah. goodness. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming. You know, you're actually my first guest in, in person that's in my new office. Cool. So it's, it a compliment. Yeah, so that's that pretty compliment. awesome. So you'll be laminated as the first person. <laughs> wow. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, of course, you mentioned, of course, uh, your class and when you crossed. Uh, what made you join Greek Life? Honestly, I just wanted to kind of branch myself out there. I feel like fresh my freshman year, like, I was involved, but not as involved as I wanted it to be. And I feel like I didn't have as many friends. Like, of course, I was friends with, like, my roommates and everything. But I really wanted to branch out, get to know different types of people. And obviously, I joined a multicultural sorority for that. And also, like, to have some leadership opportunities, since I know I want to be a teacher, mm -hmm. hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I but yeah i really wanted to kind of like branch myself out there and see like my capabilities and i thought joining a sorority was perfect for that okay sounds good and then um did we mention why um you had chosen that one? Oh, so if i'm being honest das was like my first option okay. i kind of did look like at other multicultural sororities but i don't know i think the people in the organization at that time really drew me in like they seem like very like not inclusive but like very close to each other and especially when i would go off go to show loss i was like oh my gosh i have to be them like i want to be them so bad uh -huh. yeah so it's basically those stroll offs jocelyn said the same thing on my other podcast that's is so it really the stroll offs for all like everyone like for joining well <laughs> <laughs> i feel like that's all everyone's just let me want one stroll okay that's it i'm choosing that organization so okay but like i can't really say like i don't know like everyone strolls really good and like have their own style of strolling like because even the gammas like they stroll really cool too and like i love their roll call like Everyone has like a really cool, unique stroll, but I don't know. Maybe it was like the people at the time because I know like my big, she's personally one of the people I remembered first and she, she just so happened to become a big later on. And I was just like, oh my gosh, she's so cool. Like, <laughs> I love them so much. Like, they're like those people, you know, like, oh, okay, go off, girl. Like, <laughs> well, uh, let me see here. Um, I asked, um, of course, Jocelyn another question. What was the, like, what do you feel like entice you to go i know you said it was a stroll off um was there anything else that you would so like we always like to give out tips to other greeks um especially for recruitment slash right. rush season what would be your advice to them on that part i feel like being very like during like rush events and also like promoting your organization you want to promote your organization as much as possible especially like allow for events that non-greeds can attend like especially for like rush events like you want to be promoting it as much as possible as well as make the people that are attending feel like they're included like let's say for a rush event we're having like a self-care night which is actually a rush event we do at times so you mm -hmm. want to be sure that you're engaging with the people that's at the event mm -hmm. so they feel like they're loved like they feel like oh we want them to be there and it's not just like just some random person. Oh yeah, absolutely makes sense. Part part of that. Yeah, for me, it's definitely engagements. Um, just you know, building that connection, just getting to know the people that actually want to join, and just the reasons why. So I think that's right. the big reason on that part. So definitely. Well, uh, let's talk about the Instagram post next. Let's talk about <laughs> those ones because that's uh, I, I uh, wanted to, of course, bring her in here because she's just been. I w we were just talking about before the podcast that she was just. If I was gonna give you an award, it would be her for the best <laughs> stroller this year. So, Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go and talk about. It. Well, first question: um, Who actually choreographs the strolls, or was it already like, you know? design before you guys had done okay, it Okay, so a lot of our older heads actually created our show so shout out to them i know stephanie de la rosa um ashley she made some and there's a lot of older heads that created the strolls i'm sorry if i forgot your name i can't remember <laughs> who exactly created what stroll but i know stephanie created a lot of them and then 
Um, also, Vane made some too. Vanessa Martinez. All right, let's go and uh, let's look at this show. This is the most like the Our viral show. show. Yeah. So for that one, what do you feel like? Was the who created this one? I can't remember at the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it was Stephanie though. On that one. Yes. Okay. Oh, she's so cool. Did, did you ever create your own stroll yet? I'm or? in the um, art, like, I'm in the process of making one. Oh, right yeah? Now. Yeah. Are we going to see it this year or what's mm, happening? I don't know yet. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, how about this one? Was it the same that one? That's Stephanie. Stephanie? Okay. I'm pretty positive. Yeah, I believe She made a lot. Like, Chris to her. Like, I'm stroll chair this semester, so, like, I'm in charge of, like, teaching the girlies, like, the strolls, and also making sure everyone's, like, in sync and everything. But, like, I'm contributing that to her. Like, I got to make sure we look good just for her, you know? <laughs> like, we know you, girl. Well, uh, you know what? You guys do an amazing job. I can see it. Um, is there a lot of preparation that you guys take place or do you guys just really memorize like the stroll itself and then you guys because i remember for me uh it was very hard to schedule stroll practice and yeah. so a lot of people had to do it by themselves and so they we were just good at like just coming together and doing it but i felt like you guys worked as a group um definitely what's your feedback on that part um so i know definitely i hold stroll practices myself so like the girls that don't know the strolls so they can come out and learn them and as well as like those that need a refresher, I just kind of want to go over it. They go to shoals. But as you can see, like in this video, like the three of us, so it's me, Sadie, and my LS, Erica. Erica was actually stroll chair last semester, but mm -hmm. um, but us three were one of the ones that know majority of the shoals. Mm -hmm. And they're all part of my stroll committee as well. So if I need to, like I always reach out to them to see if they can hold a practice that... I'm not able to hold because I know typically I work certain mm -hmm. days and they have a freer schedule than I do besides like going to school and stuff. So I'm like, hey, can y'all like do a practice for me and mm -hmm. just let me know how it goes. OK, yeah, you guys do an amazing job. Yeah. I can see that you guys really work together just based on the video itself, because I just feel like everyone's just has the same amount of energy and just pretty much I just feel that that's the thing like on that part. I don't know. Do you feel like that's just what you feel with your sisters like? Oh, yeah, definitely. And especially since we always look forward to show loss or dancing in general, like, we'll be the one of the first ones to jump out there. I know, especially Erica, my LS. Like, <laughs> she loves show like, just as much as I do. No, that's awesome. So um, for this one, uh, this recent one, who who choreographed this one? Was it? This was actually me. So I was in charge of showcase this semester as part of Stroll Chair. Mm -hmm. And this choreogra choreography actually is kind of derived from Matt Stefania. He made choreography to finesse and oh, kind of just didn't yeah. spin thought... to it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I love his videos on that part. So you definitely see the, the similarities between those two. So yeah, yeah, for this one, like I said before, I just... I just feel like you guys are in sync. Like that's the reason I I really liked the video, and that's the reason I posted it was because of that that reason on that part. And then um, I think I remember I think it was last semester. Did you guys have like in sync like uh, clothing and shoes? I think like yes. Is that really what happened on uh -huh. this one? Yeah. We're like, oh, oh my gosh, who has black shoes? Who has black shoes? <laughs> <laughs> that's like, really that's why I really liked this part. Like it was just like wow, they like really. Uh, I just said like just pretty much coordinated everything together so that's why i felt the energy on that one um I this did help out with this showcase too so sorry to interrupt no go ahead no what are you saying i know because like i helped out my ls with this one as well like we kind of help each other mm -hmm. that's a good thing no i just this is like the first time i saw i was like wow i felt that one like <laughs> i said before that was that was a lot so <laughs> you can tell like it's a lot of they're like, Ooh, we're tired. <laughs> but no it's great on that part um so that's great that you guys actually work together um so you're you say you're what's your current positions now uh for this year um so i'm stroll chair and our e-board is natalia she's president our VP is Abby Paniagua. Our secretary is my LS, Jackie. You kind of met her. She's also MGC president. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Amy's our sisterhood chair. Uh, my LS, Erica, she's 
standards this semester. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and there's also so many. There's like, because we have our e board and then we have like the chairs that change every semester. Like my chair is going to change next semester. Mm -hmm. So, well, obviously it's the end of the year. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then Sadie's academics chair, Angelica's historian. I'm trying to remember. Okay, Diana's social chair. Mm hmm. Social media is my Ella Sonara. She's also in charge of apparel. She made some really cute like founder shirts for us. So credits to her. <laughs> and also she made some beanies for us. I was so excited. And then who else? Who else? I'm trying to remember all the chairs. No, that's good. I, I, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would not know oh. this at all. <laughs> oh, oh. And then my other LS, Caro. She's treasurer. And then I think that's about it. I'm so sorry if I missed you. They'll let you know. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, they didn't mention me at all. What the heck? Like, um, that's awesome on that part. Um, the next part I wanted to ask was, is there any future events coming up this spring for your organization for this chapter? Um, so we actually have an event later tonight. It's for like, it's like a baile so pretty much we're having like a dance company and they're teaching us like the traditional hispanic dancing so that's pretty cool and oh yeah actually, i think i saw that too so and it's coordinated with lsh we also i'm trying to think of another event that's like public because i know our next week event i think that's just like a social for like the sisters okay but if i can't remember at the top of my head check out our instagram <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right we'll make sure to follow that i'll leave it on the screen too so it's uta underscore das correct yes all right so make sure you guys follow that on that part uh okay well for yourself what's your plan like um for the future um when do you plan to graduate and uh yeah what are your career goals um so i actually plan on graduate hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> um by next spring so spring 23 23 okay and then uh what what do you want to do i heard you said something about a teacher correct mm -hmm. so i'm currently ma um like majoring in esl elementary education so hopefully if all goes well like i get a job right after i graduate and hopefully hopefully teach fourth grade because i feel like that's a good age like it's after the first year of standardized texting testing and like fifth grade is mostly preparation for junior high or you know so I feel like that's a good age, like fourth grade. That's interesting. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can I remember my fourth grade teach? teacher? I don't. Remember, I don't know if I remember. I think I remember my second grade teacher, maybe because she had an interesting name. Right. <laughs> Her name was Rainwater. <laughs> so oh, wow. I never heard that before. So, uh, well, that's cool. Like a fourth grade. Oh man. Well, definitely. Good luck with that. That's gonna be it, right now. It's very challenging. So. <laughs> yeah. So do your best with that part. Thank you, thank you. Um. Is there anything you want to do for, are you going to plan to keep um, supporting the organization? I know, you know, with graduating after college, a lot of people, you know, can only spend time a little bit because, of course, they have right. their work, careers, and everything else like that. Is there any plans for yourself or I'm good in like four years, like, you know? Um, so I personally might join alumni after like their like, I want to take a little break from DAS when I graduate, mm -hmm. and then I really want to go back to alumni. Like, let's say, like, I take a year break, mm -hmm. and then I go back into it. Okay, yeah, that's great on that part. Um, do you, I want to, I had a question. Do you guys um, coordinate with other chapters? Are you close with other chapters, or more is just towards yourself on that part? Um, so we're definitely trying to branch out a lot more to our other chapters, because we felt like previously, like, we didn't get as much interaction with them. But mm -hmm. I know this semester we really worked on, like, getting to know more of our other chapters. But we know sometimes in, like, the midst of things, we don't always get to coordinate events with them. Mm -hmm. But, like, for our Founders Week, we actually got to coordinate um, our show off with our chapter at unt so that was oh, yeah. really fun i yeah, didn't I get that. to go unfortunately but dun, dun, dun. <laughs> i know i'm so sad they'll let you know <laughs> why weren't you there <laughs> <laughs> why weren't you there huh like, yeah, uh, like dang it i got to see everyone but i didn't get to because i i was actually participating in something else that weekend i was like in good feel for fsa okay mm. 
there's nothing wrong with that like i said before i think you you know we can only do so much to right. be honest like you know it is very difficult we do our very best to do that uh just to be participating in all the mm. events and everything um well other than that i'm gonna ask some fun questions yeah. it's gonna be a fast 10 questions i call it no like greek member you know when you do <laughs> I don't know if we tell uh, people who are non-Greek, but <laughs> but really, you're supposed to know your Greek member. It's just questions, f- just for fun. Uh, and I'll say 10 fast questions for you, okay? Okay. Favorite color? Pink. Favorite food? <gasps> Chicken. Favorite place to visit? San Antonio. San Antonio, okay. And then, who's your favorite sister? <gasps> no! <laughs> you can't do that to me. No? <laughs> Who'd you pick? Elsie. Okay. Elsie Robles. <laughs> pink lady number 180. Okay. You, can't get a lot. I, I, you didn't really have to answer that one. But okay. <laughs> I, was, I was like, she's going to skip it, but okay. <laughs> uh, favorite Greek stroll song? <gasps> Ooh. I'm going to say, can I choose two? It's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Wipe Me Down and Knuck If You Bug. Okay. Yeah. I definitely hear those ones. Yeah. Uh, oh, wipe Me Down place you always wanted to visit i really wouldn't go to italy okay. probably florence or venice i feel like they're really pretty okay uh favorite movie mm, i would just say dirty dancing because it used to be my favorite movie it used to be <laughs> <laughs> it's not your favorite movie <laughs> so what i mean what's i'm mostly watching like tv shows or anime now okay well i was gonna ask the next question favorite show <laughs> <laughs> uh I would say, I'm going to say anime. I watch more anime than I watch, like, regular television. I'm going to add an additional one. What's your favorite anime show? <laughs> yeah. uh, on, uh, I'd say in between, like, Hunter x Hunter and Demon Slayer. Oh, yeah, Demon Slayer. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite Greek event? Show loss. Yeah. <laughs> any specific one you like? Like this semester? And just in general, any event. Honestly, I really love Showcase too. Because like, you can actually sit down and watch every mm-hmm. organization like, do their own thing. It's so cool. Yeah, oh yeah. I've been to both UTAs and they've been amazing. So yeah. it's really awesome. Everyone goes, is like hopping out. <laughs> All right, last question. Uh, favorite video game? Ooh. And whatever Let's pops in your Call mind. Call of Duty. Call of Duty? Yeah. The newest one or like older? Not one? the newest one. I like the older ones personally. I like, I used to be called like the headshot guy because like every time I would play, I would be like the person getting the headshot. I'd be like, pew, 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 pew. but now like I don't play as much as I used to. Now I just mostly do it on mobile. Oh, like yeah. My phone. I can tell where you lead the strolls. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the headshots. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's go ahead. Um, wh- what? We'll go ahead and do this on this end part of the podcast. Is there any social media? I pretty much listed out your organization as the UTA underscore DAS. Mm-hmm. Uh, was there any other social media you wanted to let anyone else know to if they want to follow you guys? Or I just listed out your organization. Um. So, as you know, our Instagram handle is UTA underscore DAS. So, give us a follow. And you can also see all my pretty sisters on the page as well. And And also, we'll be promoting, like, different events that we have as well. And also, if y'all want to follow me, that's cool. (laughs) But yeah, like, if you want, like, you don't have to. I'm chilling. Yeah, so definitely uh, go ahead and follow them on their organization. And most likely, I I probably have tagged her so many times on my Instagram (laughs) that people already know. (laughs) Uh, Especially since she strolls a lot. You know, I always make sure to tag her on that. um anything else you want to tell everyone just like give a shout out to anyone or anything um well shout out to my sisters like i wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for them especially my ls's like they've seen me through everything you know like like it's really like a bond that you can't really explain same thing that goes with my sisters my big my bigs technically Mm -hmm. i also have a dao big too frankie He's really, he's such a big teddy bear. Oh, there you go. A little yeah. shout out we over love, there. So. We love Frankie <laughs> and Elsie. I love Aww. them both. Yeah. But shout out to my organization because, you know, they're so sweet, so cool. Love them. Also, shout out to, like, everyone in my life in general. I feel like 
they've really seen me grow. I feel like this year has been like just full of improvement within myself, whether it be mentally, physically, mm-hmm. like just in any way possible. I feel like I'm finally I like at a really great position with myself. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much for doing that. And of course, thank you so much for coming here today. It's, sure. it's been absolutely awesome. Um, but other than that, you guys make sure to follow us on Apple Podcasts, Instagram, uh, YouTube is uh, DJ Dean Thap 2.0 on that part. And then we'll see a lot of videos and podcasts. But other than that, thank you so much for coming and listening. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Okay.